Hello guys and welcome to 7.4.4, the next iteration of our chapter 4 run through. Um, yeah, and, and uh, I must say before I start, I'm in quite good spirits, hence the uh, hence the intro. Just moved house, sorted all of that. The bi- There are some builders outside now, so I um, will start by apologising if you hear any extra noise or if the sound sounds funny because um yeah i've not not fully been able to fill this room up as as much of as i liked but um again as with every video i hope you guys are enjoying these walkthroughs i hope they're helping you out and um, we, we may as well jump into it so this is the path beginning with a uh, stealth spidey and i believe it ends with cosmic ghost rider some um three tech champs and three cosmic champs which seems to be the uh, way of these chapter four paths which is um not too bad what you have on this path is um four nodes superiority is one of them so superiority is got by having class um having a class the same as the defender so here a tech would have worked for the tech but in the end i tried this so many times i just thought i'll bring gallon in and hope that his um harvest can do quite a lot of damage to this um stark enhanced spidey and um i think it did there is also the entry fee um, node on here. So for every um, time the defender is inflicted with a debuff, uh, he has a 100% chance to purify it. However, this chance is reduced by 30% by uh, for every buff that the attacker has on them. So this is, again, um, another, uh, another path where having champs with a lot of buffs, like an Ultron, um, Galen, Gore... Uh, Nimrod, all, all those sort of champs. Odin, the Odin synergy um, is really good on this one, or the pre-fights, sorry. Um, so yeah, uh, that's sort of what, what you have for this. Obviously the superiority. And then you've got um, another node, which is Head Rush. This is a, a bit of a tricky one to, to get your head around, and superiority isn't actually that useful for it. But it's basically every 12th debuff is um, that is purified becomes a... A passive stun lasting um, for I think a, a second and a half maybe two seconds however um, if you have superiority this changes to every sixth debuff so also having somebody who inflicts a lot of debuffs again gore would be really good for this uh, I really wish I had up, up um, upgraded my gore for the seventh ch- um, chapter four path because he would have become really he would have came in really useful uh, I think he's a great champ as it is and his buff literally just went live so um, that was quite handy. Or I should say is rebalancing uh, rather than a buff. So he he would have been quite han- handy. I like to see this Angela fight as uh, a chance to basically any f- um, damage that you took from Stark Spidey. Her armor breaks um, that she puts on from her SP2 and her SP1. Um, they, they can just be used as willpower because obviously they don't do any damage to you uh, unless hit. So as much as you, you can dex and evade as much as you like and, and that's quite ha- handy. I would say the hardest fight on this path is this fight right here. This fight, oh, I despise Mysterio. I really hate Mysterio. I think he's one of the worst champs. He's one of the worst champs to fight just because of his um, his stupid miss on his SP2 and his reflection on his SP1. Just really annoying. Uh, I'd much rather take the miss than um, than the reflection but if you are in my opinion if you get through this with one champ down then you're laughing you know you're loving life the boss isn't too difficult um but obviously we'll get on to him uh, later on that it will be the killmonger boss so if you can just put sort of put this uh, mysterio to bed as, as as sort of quick as you as you possibly can here i just forget about the the damage reflection take an absolute ton of that but yeah, this is uh, this is a real key fight, and is one you want to bring in a good counter for um, somebody who a uh, cosmic ghost rider obviously would work really well for this, having the vigilance. Um, he's definitely somebody who would who'd be really really nice for this one. But obviously, there you see, I go down with Ultron, um, so I try and again with Warlock. Um, like I said, one champ down, I would say is a success. CGR will absolutely melt this Mysterio, so I guess there is uh, you don't really need to worry uh, on that sense. But um, definitely, um, definitely try and go in with a champ who can counter miss or don't hit him while his damage reflection on, which is what I'm sort of learning here. Uh, it makes the fight that little bit easier. Either keep to his SP one and don't hit him, or have a champ who who can counter the miss. Then the the last node on here is the um, from my cold dead hands, which is 
interesting name. It's the one where any um, Stagon, Nullify, or I can't think of the other one off the top of my head, um, or if you sort of um, have a buff on the defender and, and you put Stagger on, this makes then becomes a... Uh, does 200% direct damage uh, of your, of the attack to you. So you want to try and um, avoid those champs who put Staggers on, your Doctor Dooms, your Hoods. Any real Mystic champ for this one it doesn't really work. Um, so I would definitely try and avoid that. Uh, and then I believe there's also Stun Vulnerability on here where when the attacker is stunned, 200%. Uh, attack increase so um something that really works is parry heavy champs who who rely on a parry heavy or who you know who benefit like a warlock uh can work really well also so as i said key fights are the mysterio uh, the captain marvel don't let her get to binary then we've got psycho man uh, his sp1 is easy to evade so keep him to that and then cosmic ghost rider um is again another tricky fight just because he has that um unblockable sp1 but once that's been used once it doesn't get come back for a while so just either keep him to his sp2 and you and you eventually um know how to dex it and the same with the sp1 so i would definitely say don't worry about that fight too much this is really the the key fight for here uh, as you see i lose two champs but at, at this rate i just think well if it gets to it i'm just gonna unit man because i really can't be bothered to um, be messing around with this mysterio um other than that though guys i would say um just make sure you take it uh, careful. If you can go off off route here to the to the Thor Jane Foster, maybe do it. Um, I just thought I'll go with the Captain Marvel instead. I've got um, Gallon with me, and basically I'll see what I can do. But yeah, it's um, it's definitely uh, it's definitely a tricky path. Um, could especially compared to the ones that we've done previously. But I hope you guys can get through it uh, as I eventually do, and I'll see you at the boss fight so we can talk about his nodes.
boxer are at the Killmonger fight now. Um, this is the, probably the boss that I would recommend. Although he is a, a very good defender, the nodes are a little bit kinder too. You've got extinction, extin extinction protocol there. So he gets up to 200% attack based on how full your power bar is. He's also got power shield. So he can only take damage from your special attacks, but that's damaged is times by 400%. Redouble determination. So any debuffs that you put on him increases... Uh, combat power rate with an attack so you really want to try and avoid champs that put um put debuffs on him um your eye bombs even nick furies with bleeds and things like that i think here the main goal is um you really want to focus on um taking champs who who power control uh, as you can see there he's got the cruelty as well so every time um, you do put a debuff on him, so uh, a stun. He get he gets that cruelty, and then hitting in, he can hit through blocks. You've also got to be careful with his SP one when hitting it. That um, it will give him those unstoppable charges through the block. So here, um, my best champs are obviously Kitty Pride, Professor X, and then my five star Kitty Pride. I just think I'll bring those in. Um, it's only really special damage. So um, they're champs who do, they have class advantage and they do a lot of damage with not many debuffs on them, on all three of them. And you also get the enhanced parry node. So every time you parry him, he gets an armor break. However, when Killmonger has a debuff on him, obviously um, he gets that um, increased combat power rate, which I think uh, personally is quite useful because it gets him to that SP2. Um, meaning you know that one's easier to dex than his sp1 but it also doesn't give him those unstoppable charges so i do highly recommend um getting him to that sp2 trying to make him throw it as much as possible and then yeah if you're using kitty pride build up the uh, your prowesses and chuck uh, chuck your sp2 and, and try and do basically as much damage as you can here i would say um this is sort of the the key way to go a uh, big big damage um, what I said with the cruelty was there, it's actually every time you knock him down, I've just remembered or I've seen it on screen. So um, every time you do knock him down, so heavy attacks will give him that cruelty. He can do that hit crit critical hits through the block. So you've got to be careful of that. So really um, the way to go here is just try and build your damage up to um, the the special attacks that do the most damage, like for me, is, is the SP2. Try not to chuck it when reverberation is on because that um, will shield a lot of the damage. And um, finally, don't hit him when he's blocking after his SP1. Otherwise, you will be um, he will counter attack you, and that will cause his um, him to go unstoppable, and and that can be a real real pain. So that's sort of the keys for this fight. I would say mutant attackers or attackers like CGR with massive um, special attacks. Don't chuck it while reverberation is on, but um, or the armor. Try and have a, an armor break on him so that he doesn't um, have either of those. If you you can do that, then you will take him down in probably two or three special attacks. For me, I um, you know, I didn't again. I didn't really look into it enough to say um, to do to do all of this. I just went in um, with sort of the the end goal of getting getting to the next Kang fight. So I didn't think too much about it. But you can um, you are able to do this a lot easier than I did. Um, champs with big special attack damage is sort of the key here and and use those other tips that i've given you in, in the rest of that fight that will do it for the 7.4.5 um walkthrough guide and um, best counters i'll see you in the the next 7.5 um or 7.4.6 kang fight for the uh you know the penultimate one and we'll go through that explaining all of the phases um and how to play him best counters if there are any and um and the easiest path on that as well so i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one goodbye